Leif Erikson. He was the first person to discover a massive land now named America, way before Christopher Columbus did. He was significant because he was the first person to discover the New World, which he called it Vinland. Leif Erikson doesn't have an exact year of birth, but a strong estimate that he was born in 970 AD. He was the first European to set foot in the New World, which is called Vinlandich. Leif Erikson found an area called Vinlandich. He thinks he's the first to discover North America. Four centuries before Christopher Columbus arrived in 1492, he always had a nickname of Lucky Leaf. He always discovered new areas and many people were very jealous of him because of that. Explored by the Snores Vikings, where Leif Erikson was first there in 1000. Five ventures to the voyages of Christopher Columbus. He discovers America to a land that he thought he wouldn't have seen. One called Hop, which was located further south. Christopher Columbus, as not the first European to discover the New World, Leif Erikson landed in South America approximately 1,000, about five centuries prior to the voyages of Christopher Columbus. He was very unsure of himself when he was there. Leif Erikson investigated rumors of the West. Days later, they landed on a new land which he named Greenland. Discovering this, I found that Leif Erikson wasn't very into the name Greenland, but he stuck with it. Sometime after Leif Erikson had returned to Greenland, he soon became restless. He decided to find the lands of the west, of which Bajani's had spoke. He bought Mr. Bajani's boat and set off to sea to find the new things. He had some... He had a son called Thorgils and a beloved wife named Thorguna. Leif Erikson had a crew that he always travelled with. To Greenland, to Norway, to many other places as well. He went there always to try and find new lands and new homes. He was always restless and needed to do something like that. Thank you for watching my presentation. I am Femi Exidius and I hope you enjoyed.